deal. Oh my God. And those are police officers in Newport, Rhode Island behaving like abusive tyrants on camera. Can you imagine how they behave when the cameras are not there, are not filming them? Witnesses say that this incident uh, happened about 1.20 in the morning this past Sunday morning. They say that two police officers were trying to arrest a guy who was up against a trolley. A third police officer, so-called peace officer, told everybody to get back. And then he literally pushed a guy down the street who then collided with another man who fell back into a light pole. And that same third police officer, when he went back to the trolley, there was some poor guy who happened to walk by and exchange words with that cop, criticizing him, we assume. And the police officer decided to slap that man across the face. Because in Newport, Rhode Island, if you criticize police, if you question police, if you ask what they're doing, you are to be met with physical force, with violence, with an assault, and a slap across the face. Now, that violent response by that Newport police officer is against the law. It is assault, and it makes the city of Newport vulnerable to a civil lawsuit. And yet, here we are a few days after all of this, and the only people who have been arrested from Sunday morning, according to police, are a couple of civilians, two guys who are 22 years old who have been charged with obstruction of justice, resisting arrest, and disorderly conduct for their behavior on Thames Street. The officer who did the slap, has he been arrested? Has he been charged? A couple of days into this, nope, not yet. Yet, the chief of police says there is an investigation that's underway and that authorities are reviewing the video. But think about it this way. If the situation were reversed and you or I were caught, say, arguing with a police officer and then just slapping that police officer, would it take several days? Would it take an investigation? Would it take reviewing the videotape for you or I to get arrested and charged on the spot? We would be lucky if we were not tasered or even shot. That's the difference. Police officers feel if they are above the law, they can act like little tyrants. They can engage in their power trips and their violence and get away with it because their department protects them. And the police have to say, well, wait a second, we need to review whether the circumstances and the violence were warranted. No, there is no justification for this. Let me be very clear. Under the U.S. Constitution and settled case law, it is not against the law to talk to police, to not talk to police to question them, to criticize them, to give them your middle finger, even shout vulgarities in their face. All of that is protected speech. And there's a difference between speech and physical acts, which then police can meet with physical responses. And if police officers can't make that distinction, if they can't understand the difference, they do not belong on the police force. And yet all too often across the United States, we have too many cops who get into this for the wrong reasons. They're on power trips. They want a badge and a gun. They have a fragile ego that they want to protect. And they want to dominate anybody who shows them any level of disrespect. And they don't care about protecting the Constitution, the very document these police officers swore an oath to protect and uphold and defend. I do not think that most police officers are rotten to the core, but there are enough out there that make the police in America simply look terrible and make their cities vulnerable to civil lawsuits. It's why we need a national registry of these rotten cops, the police officers who should not be rehired after they've been charged or after they've been fired. And starting on this list needs to be that jerk of a police officer in Newport, Rhode Island, who couldn't handle being criticized and decided to respond with a slap across the face. That guy deserves to be off the force and never get another job in law enforcement or security ever again. I'm David Schuster. Thanks for joining us. Tell me what you think in the comment section.